Hello everyone, good morning, and welcome back to This Is Me and I Am Marilyn podcast. I'm doing something a little different today. I am actually video recording. Um, my friend said, record. Sometimes people want to see you. They want to see a visual. So I am using a new car mount because... Oh my God, the phone may definitely fall. But let's see how this goes. Um, I'm using a a new car mount because um, the old one I had is in my old truck. I got a new car. I downsized. My truck before was just extremely large. But now I feel like this is too small. Um... But there was no in between, but the truck I had before was just way too big. But anyways, um, today I want to talk about self-caring. And I know that has been the theme the last few, last couple of years, the last year. It's been very heavy. Everyone's just self-care, self-care, self-care. But honestly, it is just so important to self-care And I personally tend to, um, I tend to go, 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 go until I get to the point where I burn myself out and I struggle with finding the balance, but in the same breath, it's like I work full time. I have the kids full time. Like it is not easy taking care of two small toddlers it, it's hard it is hard is exhausting it is time consuming it is demanding and then aside from that and I'm always talking about this is just growing my businesses and while it's something that I love and I enjoy doing I feel like at times I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'm always preaching you can't have fear and faith at the same time, but um, the car mount is not suctioning. I just I just put it on and um, you have to like give it a few hours before you really put your phone on it, but um, I'm always preaching that you can't have fear and faith at the same time. But the fear within me comes from a place of not being in the same position where I found myself in last year, where I just picked up my kids and walked out, you know, and left my marriage with no plan, no money, no, no income, no nothing. So for me, it's like I wake up every morning and just work, 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 work. And while I'm still not in a position where I'm able to enjoy the... Oh, oh, gone. I'm not in a position where I'm able to enjoy the fruits of my labor yet because I'm not... I'm not there. I just know like all the work that I'm putting and, and all the effort. I just know that sooner or later it's gonna pay off and I feel guilty when I have those days where I just want to rest because for me it's like I can be doing something but I can't pour from an empty cup so it's just making the conscious effort to say to yourself sit the fuck down it's okay you need to reset in order to be your best self because you can't pour from, from an empty cup. So last night as I was tossing and turning in bed, I was just like, damn, Marilyn, you fell off of your self-care routine. My like, girl, you need to wheel it back. God got you. Your faith is what got you here. and Your faith is what's going to get you through. So let go of the fear. Because I know I will never be in the position that I was in again, that I was in last year. So I say this to say that whatever your self-care routine is, don't lose sight of it. And fortunately for me, 
I am aware of it before it's too late, before I really crash and have a meltdown. So what does my self-care look like? What I used to do is wake up early. I would go to the gym, but it's cold. It's cold and I'm tired. I cannot wake up now. You guys know I was waking up at 4.30 and I felt so good, but I have to get back to that because that is my me time. That is the moment that I had for me. I put on a sermon. I was able to read a few pages out of a book, which I really enjoy that. So I definitely want to get back into reading and just a moment of silence. And I think for me, I just have not had that moment of silence to reflect, to um, to remind myself of my gratitude and all of my blessings and yada, 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 you know, all the good stuff. So I have to get back to the good stuff. So I've decided that Sundays, if I don't have a showing or if, um, you know, I don't have anything really like set in stone where I can't cancel, Sunday is going to be my rest day. No work, no emails, no social media, nothing. So I am able to reset. Let's see how it goes, but it's good to set goals for yourself. And yeah, just make sure that you are not, oh, sorry guys. You are not losing sight of yourself and you continue to self-care. All right, I'm signing off. My mouth keeps falling. I love you guys. As always, thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you soon.